Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solo Trip episodes. We're talking about all things spirituality and life and love and metaphysics and all of that kind of stuff. So for this video, I wanted to go into talking about our home frequency because it is something that I literally am learning right now and always having to implement new practices into. So I feel like this is the foundation for life. So we are going to get into this topic today. But before I do that, I also wanted to mention if there is anything that you are struggling with, anything that you were going through, or anything that you just want to hear my perspective on, or some advice, or anything like that, then leave a comment down below on YouTube, and I will make a note of it and film future videos on it. So make sure you can do that on any of my videos, or you can DM me on Instagram, and I will get back to you, and I will make a video on the topic. So I just wanted to throw that out there, because I feel like I end up just creating all kinds of random topics, but there's always something that people are going through so I want to make sure that I cover everything you know so yes also little disclaimer I know that I am like a bit extra with makeup today if you're watching this on YouTube you can see that I like have a little bit extremely dark colors today but it is because I'm doing a photo shoot today we're going to be revamping all of my social media all of my like streaming stores you know like Apple Music and Spotify and all of that I want to revamp all of the pictures for those websites because music is coming extremely fucking soon and by the time you even watch this video because I do film in advance otherwise I just would never keep up but by the time that you see this video I probably will have already announced the date and literally will be a few days away from new music dropping so I'm really fucking excited it's been building for a whole entire year and we're finally here so yes I just thought I would let you know why I'm wearing like extreme dark colours for this video, you know. But anyway, so this topic today is about your home frequency. And I've heard this phrase before, and when I first heard it, I didn't really get what that meant. But now I realise that it's literally just how you feel on a regular, consistent basis. Like it's how you feel the most often. It's like it's where your emotions tend to sit around, you know, for the most part. And I know that emotions fluctuate and all of us feel the full, sh the <laughs> for some reason I can't get my words out today. I feel like I say that in every video, but anyway, um, we all feel, feel the full spectrum of emotions. So you're not just going to feel one, you know, you're going to feel up and down all the time. It's a bit of a roller coaster. this wonderful life experience. But there is a like a home base that we can choose to tune into every day to make sure that we are starting our day off right and starting like just starting our mood you know because sometimes you can get out the wrong side of the bed or you can literally start your day and be in the best mood and then someone will do something and it'll really piss you off and then your mood just completely falls and now you don't know how to get out of it and I've done that so often where like even silly things sometimes would trigger me and then it would ruin my entire day sometimes my entire week you know where I just couldn't get out of that bad mood and it's because of your thought patterns as well and all of those kind of things that I've talked about before so we are going to get into this fully but I just want to start off by like explaining what a home frequency even is because it kind of sounds a bit weird. <laughs> I feel like so many spiritual terms sound really separate and really vague and really like wishy-washy and like there's no full, full simplified explanation, you know, it always sounds really complicated and oftentimes you realise that the thing they're talking about is something that you've done all the time and you didn't even realize it you know like meditation for example I realized I've done that throughout my whole life without ever even consciously realizing that that's what it's called or that that's what it is same with lucid dreaming as well so I should probably make a video on like the astral realm and that kind of thing because I've always done all of these things and I didn't realize that that's what it was and it's actually something so simple you know or at least simple to some people but all of the phrases and terminology makes it sound really confusing and separate 
like separate from you kind of thing like it's something you need to chase or try and grasp but it's actually pretty straightforward when it's simplified you know so yeah um back to home frequency <laughs> so this is something that I've had to put into practice especially over the last few months I feel like things kind of work in cycles you know so oftentimes you want things to happen straight away but it's not going to happen straight away it's something that takes a bit of effort it takes consistency and you may fall off of that consistent pattern you know and then you have to pick yourself up and get back on it so it's not something that you can just flick a switch and it's just going to be perfect you know so you can't beat yourself up over it it is a lifelong process and it's something that you can practice and work towards and that is to know what your home frequency is and not only that but to choose it like you literally can choose it you can decide it and one of the practices or one of like the tall things that I have started doing in the mornings is when I first wake up before I even get out of bed before I even sit up to be honest because I really struggled with getting out of bed for absolute years so one thing I have started to do is be like how do I feel literally instantly I'll be like how do I feel and then I'll like feel what my body's saying I'll feel where my thoughts are trying to go because oftentimes they try and immediately go to something negative about whatever it is that you've got to do that day or what happened yesterday or how weird your dream just was you know so I'm like listening to what my thoughts are saying and how my body's reacting to it and then once I've acknowledged that instead of spiraling down that like hole <laughs> that rabbit hole even if it's a positive emotion but I'll then be like okay how do I want to feel how do I actually want to feel now so it might be that how I'm already feeling is how I want to feel and so then I'll continue on with those thought patterns but if it's something negative that's coming up and then I'm like okay how do I want to feel now I'm aware of the shift that I need to to make I'm aware of the fact that I'm not feeling how I want to feel you know and awareness is key awareness is what you need in order to be able to change something so you have to acknowledge how you're feeling first and then you can be like okay I'm feeling a bit anxious now because I know I've got to go and do something that I'm a bit uncertain about I don't know how it's going to pan out I don't really want to go and do it but I know that I've got to so I'm feeling anxious or I'm feeling sad or whatever it may be and how I want to feel is excited I want to feel good I want to feel alive I want to feel like pumped and ready for the day you know I want to feel love I want to feel joy so it's like okay I want to feel them so now this is how I then take it further because you can't just switch from one emotion to the other it's thoughts that get that switch to happen so it's like how do you how do you go from feeling anxious to feeling excited you know like how can you even make that jump and something that's worked for me that honestly has changed my mood so much I can't even tell you is to is through visualization which is literally your imagination which is literally your magic and this is something that I've been doing my whole life and I didn't even realize that that's what it was but and I know it's harder for some people than others but you can do it it's a natural part of consciousness it's something that you can do it just takes practice it takes discipline it takes continuously doing it and not beating not beating yourself up I swear I go to say multiple phrases at once my mind just like races but anyway I'm like really excited about this topic because honestly it's changed my life and I've only been doing it the past I want to say it's only been this year so it's probably been one or two months now where I've been consistently doing it and it makes me excited to want to do it you know normally it will feel like a drag like it feels like a chore but then when you start to see results and you start to feel better you want to do it and it's a natural thing that you'll start to do you know so the more you do it the more you'll feel ready and wanting to do it so I literally will start visualizing in my mind where I want to be in three years time 
And I mean, I've had my plan for my whole fucking life in my mind since I was a child. So it's really easy for me to go to where I want to be because I just know it like the back of my hand. Like I just feel it. I know it. I can see it. I can see what my dream house will look like. I can see how I'll feel in the morning. I can see my morning routine. Like I can see everything. And I think it's really important for people to have that kind of vision for their life and not in the sense of where it's so restrictive because you want to be open to all possibilities you know like you can have a vision of what your dream partner is going to look like down to the T but that doesn't mean that that's what you're going to get or you could have the dream partner of like it being a specific person but you can't be so restrictive because what if there's someone even better for you than that you know why would you want to limit yourself to that so it's not about being restrictive it's about being open to all of the possibilities and being open to your abundance without limitation so it's like you can visual visualize yourself in your dream house and even though in your normal life, it may seem like it's a million miles away. It may seem so unrealistic and be like, how the fuck would I ever achieve that? But you should just go into your imagination and live it anyway, you know, because it really does open up your heart to the possibilities. It opens you up so much to like freedom and releases all of these fear-based restrictions, all of these fear-based thoughts, 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 what the fuck, thoughts that tell you that you can't do it, that it's not possible, you know? So you're trying to break down that barrier by just seeing where you'd want to be in three years. And it doesn't have to be like, this is my dream house. This is my dream workout routine. This is like, it doesn't have to be all of those things at once. You could just go to visiting another country, you know? Like it could just be a simple visualization of how you want to feel in that moment. So you could still be in your current house. You could be sitting right where you are right now when you do the visualization, but you're just going to feel better. You're going in there to like change your emotions. So you're going to something that brings you joy, whatever that may be for you. And for me, I found like where I want to be in three years because I have so many goals and so many things that I want to do, that it's really easy for me to go there, you know? So you should just go to something that makes you excited. And most people are always striving for something. They're always feeling like they don't have it or they don't have enough. So going to something that you really want that you don't currently have is kind of an an easier thing for people to do because we're always desiring you know it's part of the human ego we always want more (laughs) even when we got the thing we want the next thing you know so yeah after I've gone to three years something that I like to do is then go to one year because I feel like one year is more mm, what's the phrase I'm looking for like three years is where you can go to something that's so far-fetched and something like out there you know because you've got a bit of time to get there and then I like to work my way back and go to one year because it's something where I know it's achievable you know like so now I'm open to all of the possibilities because I've gone further in the future and then I can go to something a little bit closer where it's something that I really want right now like something I wish I could just have here right now that's also very possible So I go back to one year and then after I've done that, I will go back to my day, like how I want today to go, you know, and I feel like, especially if you're feeling anxious or you're not really wanting to get up because whatever it is that you've got to do that day is not exciting and not what you want to do, you can then, now that you're excited for your future, you can then go to the present moment and go to the day ahead and like you're already feeling better and you can kind of try and like play out that day of how you want it to go in the best way like with no limitations no restrictions what's the best thing that you want to happen in that day you know if you could have the best day possible with all of the things that you know you've got to do how would it go and when you visualize that It just kind of takes the pressure off and takes the weight off of all of the fear-based thoughts that are coming up before you've done this visualization, you know? So this is just one of the keys that really, really helps me tune my frequency of where I want it to be. But you have to acknowledge where it already is first. 
And then after I've done all of those visualizations, I'll be like, okay, now I'm like ready. Now I know what I want to feel. And even if I'm not fully into that yet, I have that vision in my head that I can go to at any moment, anytime I need to, you know? So it already gets me a little bit more open and a little bit more like pumped for my day compared to not doing the visualization, you know? And then again, I'll ask myself, okay, how am I feeling now? How do I want to feel? I might like repeat those questions and maybe even do some affirmations. And then I'll journal because I feel like for some reason, my mind just has a million and one thoughts all of the time. So I like to just kind of free flow, journal it out because now I've done this visualization, I've kind of opened myself up to all of these possibilities as well. So then I have a ton more thoughts that I need to just get rid of <laughs> so I'll then go to my journal I might even read like past days as well read reading from the past in my journal really helps me see how far I've come so that's another thing that will help me like raise my vibration I guess this is kind of ways to actually raise it as well raising your vibration too not just like choosing your vibration but these are all tools to kind of help you lift it but definitely choosing your home frequency it's like with practice, the more that you do that, because I'm finding for me, like I used to, I went through depression real bad in like, I want to say kind of 2015, 2016, and then definitely 2017. <laughs> so in those times, my home frequency was so low and so sad and so depressed and so unhappy. Like on a daily basis, I would wake up feeling like that. And then throughout the last few months when I think about it now like it's nowhere near that I'm not waking up feeling like that at all you know and even on my down days when I might wake up feeling a little bit low and shit and stuff it's still not as low as what it was ever and even when it is low I then know the tools and know how to bring it back up, you know? So it's literally, it's just about repetition. It's about habit. It's about consistency and using those tools to your advantage to help you. And then I really feel like once you do this more often, you'll start to feel better more often, you know? And then you won't wake up feeling as low. Even if you're feeling low, it might not be as low as what it's been. And you'll just start to elevate you know, and you might not even notice, you might not realise that you've actually elevated it a lot and that you're actually feeling a lot better because oftentimes we don't really notice how far we've come at all. You know, we need those reminders sometimes. So like gradually things will get better and you'll start feeling more and more excited for your day and excited for your life. And I know if you're watching this and you're feeling really shit and you're just like, that could never happen. Like that is just so unrealistic that is not possible I feel so crap how could I ever wake up and feel excited for my day like that's just not gonna happen but honestly it is so possible it is like everything is possible you know it is so possible but you have to take control of it you have to do something about it because for so long I would kind of like like I was my own worst enemy you know, and even though I did get in, in an abusive relationship, which obviously that does make you a bit of a victim, like it wasn't my fault, but then at the same time, only I could get myself out of it, you know, only I can make the change that I need in my life, you know, and it doesn't matter what you're going through, like things happen to all of us, things come into our reality that we don't deserve, that we didn't ask for, that we didn't want. But at the end of the day, like, what can you do about it? What you can do is take control of your power, of your emotions, because your power lies in your emotions and your thoughts. You take control of those things. And then now you have discernment over which people are right for you and which people aren't, which opportunities are right for you and which ones aren't. You know, you have more you're so much more in your power so then you're not drawn towards toxic people you're not drawn towards all of these things that don't resonate in fact they might not even come into your focus or into your vision you might not even notice that they're there because they're not in alignment with you anymore you've elevated so much that like 
that person can be trying to get your attention and you haven't even noticed that they're there. Like their DM may be sitting in your requested and you've not even noticed it. And they're a really toxic person and you don't even know that they exist because you're busy living your best life, you know? And these things happen to us all the time because like the divine plan of everything you know, it just unfolds perfectly. So when we take control of our thoughts and our emotions and we really get in tune with ourselves, you will elevate your experience. And there's so many more ways to do this. Like another thing I like to do is dance. I will just put on like African drums or like different types of cultures, sometimes Indian music. I'll just put on all of these different cultures because, you know, with like the current charts and the pop music and the hip hop and everything, a lot of it is there to lower your vibration. So I tend to go for like ancient cultures and like music that's been around for a long time because it's way higher frequency. I don't even know if I'm wording this right, but I know what I mean inside, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I just like to listen to that kind of music in the morning or whenever I'm in a bad mood and just like let go because oftentimes when we dance, we're kind of trying to impress people or like, we don't want to look stupid. We want to feel like we're good. But if you just literally just let your mind empty out and let go of that and just let your body move, it's a bit like yoga, really. You're just letting your body move. And it really does help to get rid of all of those stories that are overplaying in your mind, you know? because that's really where our low vibration stems from. And I was watching a video yesterday, actually, um, of Brother Panic, and he was talking about how our humanity is our emotions and it is our thoughts. Like, that's what makes us human. Being human is a mindset. Like, it's a part of your mentality because, obviously, we're, we're restricted compared to our vast level of consciousness when we're not in a physical vessel. So, like, what makes us human is our emotional triggers, it is our judgments, it is our perception, it is our restricted perception, our restricted mindset, our limited mindset, you know, which is why they're doing mind control in order to keep us in that caged in closed mentality. So when you start to elevate that and become aware of that and open that, you know, like your vibration will raise easily. And when I say vibration, because I really hate these phrases, I feel like they sound so cliche and wishy-washy and just stupid, but I'm just talking about feeling better. I'm literally talking about your emotions. Like instead of feeling shit, you start to feel good. Instead of feeling sadness constantly, you start to feel more joy. But that doesn't mean that you'll never feel sadness because we all feel sadness. It just means that when you fall into sadness, when you start feeling that, you know how to be present with it. You know how to look at it and acknowledge it and be like, I feel you. I know you're there and I completely understand why you're sad right now. Like I get it. I know why you're sad and it's okay. And like, I don't know, like even when you're a child, I don't know about you, but when I was a child and I would feel sad, all I needed was someone to come and hug me and tell me that I'd be okay. In fact, I probably even need that now, you know, <laughs> but I have to do it for myself. So like if you think about when you're a child and what you needed when you were a child, there's a part of you that still needs that same thing now. So you can just give yourself that same thing. Like you don't need somebody else to do it for you. You can do it for yourself, you know? So when you're feeling sad or you're feeling low, you can just go to yourself, acknowledge the emotion that you're feeling. And all of this is just a visualization in your mind. You know, you can literally imagine yourself. You can imagine yourself as a child. You can, you can like, visualize as if you're somebody else and you're going to yourself you know so there's tons of ways that you can do it and none of it is wrong or right it just is it's whatever works for you so all of these like visualizations and meditations that you see online it's just simply a tool and you can take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't because it's about you and it's about you just doing what you need in order to feel better you know so if you're feeling sad you can think about what it is that you need or what it is that you would have needed as a child. If you find it hard to acknowledge what you need now, maybe it's easier for you to think about what you needed back then. And you can give that to yourself, you know? And then when you start to acknowledge that suffering, that sadness or whatever it is that you're feeling, you can then start to be like, okay, what would make me feel better right now? I really feel like drawing right now. I'm gonna go do that. 
and then spend 10 minutes sitting there just drawing you know like it's so simple when you think about it but we're so disconnected from ourselves that we don't even know what we would need it could be like I really need to cry right now let yourself cry I really feel like calling my friend and going for dinner go do that you know like we all need different things and there's nothing that's wrong or right it just is what works for you and you have to just like the only way you're going to know that is by sitting with yourself being comfortable with yourself and it's not always comfortable at all but still doing it anyway just sitting with yourself hearing what he or she needs and just giving yourself that you know and sometimes what you actually need is to just sit there it's not to say anything it's not to do anything it's not to go anywhere it's just simply to sit there and just hear it you know and let those thoughts run wild let them go where they want to go and just hear it and honestly it will release when you do that but a lot of the time we're running from that we're not allowing that and that's why it builds up and it gets worse and now our thoughts are literally like at the lowest possible phrases and stories that they could possibly be because we're avoiding it we're running from it and I've definitely done this so this is not a judgment you know but yeah I hope this video was helpful I don't actually know if I covered everything <laughs> I feel like this happens to me all the time and I forget what I've even said but let's think about this so it also means that when people start doing things you're not going to get triggered by it because then you can return back to your home frequency you can return back to like one thing I like to do if somebody um does something that I don't like you can then go to your happy place like you can go in your mind and go to an amazing thing that you love to do in your mind or you can do something in the physical that you love to do you know so it's just kind of using these tools to literally control your emotions that's what you're doing you're taking these tools and you're learning how to, to take back control of your mind, take back control of your thoughts and take back control of your emotions because that will elevate your experience because we're magnets, you know, we're magnets to everything in this reality. So when you elevate yourself, you're a magnet, you're, you become a magnet to everything else that's on that same frequency, that elevated frequency, and it really will change your life. So I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget if you have anything that you were dealing with, anything that you were struggling with and you want me to make a video on it, definitely leave me a comment down below. And if you're listening on the podcast apps, you can always DM me or text me all of my information, my phone number, my social media, everything, my music, it will all be in the description box below. I really, really appreciate you. And I'm so excited for new music that is coming very soon. Like, this music is a different kind of level compared to all of the other music that I've made before. So I'm really, really excited for you to hear it. And I also do have a song called Frequency that is coming very soon as well. So stay on the lookout for that and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white